morning, my name is Amanda Fair Coles, and I would like to welcome you to Greater St. James AME Good Friday service. I'm so glad that you've tuned in, so I would like for you to share so that others can partake in this Good Friday service. Please enjoy and be blessed. Mercy. 
Um, we also thank God for our pastor. Praise the Lord on this good Friday evening. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Our scripture reading for this morning, this afternoon, sorry, is coming from Matthew, the 27th uh, chapter, beginning at the 32nd verse. And I'll be reading through to the 56th verses. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insults. on him. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said he is calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a staff, and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest says, now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his ghost. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split, and the tombs broke open. The bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tomb after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, truly, he was the son of God. Many women were there watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's sons. God's word for God's people. May these words bring comfort to your heart.
It is the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, 45 through 50. From noon until three in the afternoon, the darkness came over the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Elamo, Sabakati, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard, they said he's calling on Eli. Immediately, one of them ran, got a sponge, and he filled it with wine vinegar and put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, now leave him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come and save him. And when Jesus cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Just for a little while, our subject tonight is, it's Friday, but Sunday is coming. It's Friday, but Sunday is coming. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, we want to first tell you thank you. Thank you, Father God, for even in the midst of all that we go through right now, we still know that you're a good God and that you're worthy to be praised. We even thank you, Father God, for this good Friday service. Father God, we understand and know what our Lord and Savior done for us. So Father God, as I decrease, I set you increase. Hide me behind your cross, so that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart will be accepted unto thee. For it is in Jesus' name which we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. The story of the crucifixion is probably the most repeated and familiar story in the Bible. The image of the cross is an ongoing reminder of the events that happened that day. Beginning in Jerusalem and ending on a hill called Calvary. This event took place. It may look like a bad day, but that was Friday. But know that Sunday is coming. It was Friday when they took Jesus to Pilate, when they tried him before this Roman persecutor, and they brought a false witness against Jesus. It was Friday that Pilate could not find anything, couldn't find any charges against Jesus. He said, I washed my hand over, I, I can't find anything wrong with him. It was Friday that when they, they said, we'll take Barabbas, and the Bible lets us know that his name means liar or murderer. They say they would rather take a liar and a murderer than they take the Son of God. It was Friday. Maybe it's Friday in your life. Maybe you're being false accused. Maybe you're being lied on. Maybe you feel like you're not worth anything. Maybe you feel like you're unloved and unwanted. But I want you to know it's Friday. Take heart. Sunday's coming. It was Friday when, when Judas saw that he betrayed an innocent man and he hung himself. It was Friday when Jesus was beaten. It was Friday when it was 39 times that he was whipped by soldiers and, and his meat and his flesh turned to look like hamburger. I mean, just flesh hanging off him. He took punches. He took mockery. He took lying on. He took spitting on. But it was Friday. But I want you to know that sun is coming. Maybe you're going through the same thing. Maybe your friends seem to turn away from you. Maybe you feel like you're being beat up emotionally, physically. You feel like everything is going wrong for you. But I want you to know that it is Friday, but Sunday, Sunday, Sunday's coming. It was Friday when darkness covered over the city. When it hung Jesus on the cross between two thieves. I want you to know in the midst of this coronavirus, in the midst of what we're going through, it feels like a darkness has come over the land. But it's Friday. I want you to know that Sunday's coming. It was Friday that he hung up there from the sixth to the ninth hour. And they wanted to know if he's who he says he is. Could he save himself? Wouldn't he come down? Oh, church, I came by to let you know tonight. He could have come down, but, but he didn't come down. It was not the nail that held him on the cross. It was the love for me. It was the love for you. It was the love for the prostitute. It was the love for the drug addict. It was the love for the alcoholic. It was the love for the liar, the backstabber, the homemonger. It was love that kept him up on the cross. It wasn't the nails that held him. Oh, church, it was, it was Friday. 
It was Friday when he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It was Friday when Jesus, for the first time, experienced separation between his father and himself. It was our sins that separated him. It was our sins that his father couldn't, couldn't look at him. It was our sins that he had to turn his back on him. But oh, but oh, but oh, on that Friday, the Bible said that Jesus hung his head and he said it was finished. It was Friday that he died for my sins. It was Friday that he died for your sins. It was Friday that he gave up the ghost. Oh, I'm so glad. I am so glad that Friday came. But oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. It was Friday that they took him down off the cross. It was Friday that they put him in the tomb. But I came by to tell you tonight, oh, Sunday's coming. Oh, it was Sunday morning. It's Sunday's coming. It was Sunday morning that he got up. Sunday's coming. I came by to let you know, if you're going through hell or high water, if you're going through stress, if you're going through hurt, if you're like oppressed, suppressed, and depressed, it is Friday in your life. But I came by to let you know tonight that Sunday's coming. Hold on for a little while longer. Sunday's coming. Hold on to Jesus' hand. Sunday's coming. Hold on to the Father. Sunday's coming. Hold on to the water walker. Sunday's coming. Hold on to Mary's baby. Sunday's coming. Hold on to the I am that I am. Sunday's coming. I came by to let you know tonight. Hold on. The sun is coming. Oh, you can feel like it's Friday. You can feel like you're going through it. But I want you to know, just hold on. Sun is coming. We thank God for what he did on Calvary's cross. We thank God that he died for our sins. But all oh, the celebration we shall have on Sunday morning when it's all over. And he comes and he rises and God rolls the stone away. Friday will just be a memory. We'll celebrate on Sunday. Let us pray, Lord and our God, we thank you. We thank you for what you did on Calvary's cross. We thank you, Father God, for what you did on that old rugged cross. How you died for our sins. We thank you, Father God, that you took upon our sins on your shoulders. And we thank you that now that we praise you, that we serve you, that we receive you into our hearts, that we shall have eternal life. We thank you, Father God, for this good Friday. We thank you because we know Sunday is coming. It is in Jesus' name which we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. If there be one tonight that does not know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins, oh, what a wonderful opportunity it is to say that I gave my life to Christ on Good Friday. Thinking about what he did for me on Calvary's cross, how he was beaten, how he was lied on, spit upon. I gave my life to him because he gave his life for me. So all you have to do is repent of your sins. Say, Lord God, I am a sinner. Forgive me. Come into my heart and save me. I know that you're the son of God. And I know that God raised you from the dead. He'll do it. He'll save you. My prayer is that you get to know him as your personal savior. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. And may the love of God the grace of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rule and about you now and forevermore until I see you Sunday morning. Amen. <laughs>
just knowing the joy of Jesus. Folk have been asking, how do I give to Greater St. James in this time of transition? Well, there are, there are three different ways. The first way that you can give is electronically. When you go on our, our website, when you go on our Facebook page, you'll be able to see how you can give. You can take your electronic devices and give that way. Secondly, there is an address that you will find on our Facebook page. You can mail your offering in, and we'll thank God for you. But thirdly, between the hours of 10 and 12 on Sunday morning, there'll be someone here to receive your offering. You just drive up under the canopy and someone will come out and there'll be security here to make sure your offering is secure and that you are secure. They'll come out and take your offering and you can drive right off. We thank you for whatever you give unto God. We thank you for how you bless this church and we pray that God continue to bless you. We thank you now. Be blessed and we look for you soon. Amen. Amen.